What's up guys, it's Eric from Rare Candy and today we're back with another deck profile from uh, a new deck from Steam Siege. Uh, this time we're going to be taking a look at Yen Mega Break with Zeb Strika. Uh, we actually did feature this deck in a battle video against Steelix, so if you haven't seen that, definitely check that out and see how this thing looks in action. So Yen Mega Break, it's one of the, I guess, more hyped Pokemon cards out of Steam Siege uh, that we have. So. Uh, let's just dive right into it and tell you what makes Yen Mega Break tick. So since it is based around Yen Mega, we are playing for Yanma. And I think it's worth noting we are playing the Phantom Forces one, uh, just because the attack is a little bit more relevant. Typically we don't want to attach energy to Yen Mega, which we will get to in a second. But if you ever have to, we only run DC in this deck, and we can attack for a DCE. Whereas the one in Steam Siege, I think it lets you look at your opponent's hand or something like that. Uh, this one at least does damage. So it has Air Slash just 30 and you discard an energy attached to Yamma. But most of the time our Yen Megas are going to attack for free, so it's not really a concern. So I definitely think this one is the better one to use currently. Uh, so yep, since this is a Yen Mega deck, we have four Yen Mega. Uh, for fans of Yen Mega Prime from back in the day, you're going to love this card. It has the ability Sonic Vision. So as long as you have, as long as you have four cards in your hand, Yen Mega actually attacks for free, which is awesome. So uh, let's see what his attack actually does. It's going to be Assault Boom. It does 50 damage for three colorless energy, but again, we're going to be attacking for free most of the time. Um, and if your opponent's active Pokemon has a tool card attached to it, it does 70 more. That's really good because most Pokemon in the game have tools attached to them. Uh, Fighting Fury Belts, Spirit Links, Float Stones, Muscle Band, um, all sorts of stuff. Even Trevenant has Burst Balloons. So most of the time, they are going to have a tool card attached to them. And the math for the attack actually works out really well because it'll do 120. And that two shots really everything in the game. Um, maybe outside of like a Fighting Fury Belted Zygarde EX. Well, actually, no, because Zygarde's weak to us because he's a weak to grass, so never mind. This will either two-shot or one-shot pretty much everything in the game. So the, the math on this attack really works out nicely. Uh, and so we're also playing two Yen Mega Break. And that might not seem like a lot, but really Yen Mega Break is more of just an HP buff for our Yen Mega attacks, or for our Yen Megas. Um, the attack on it is decent, but... Most of the time, we would prefer to do the 120 that we get to do with Assault Boom. So the attack on EM Mega Break, it's Barrier Break for 100 damage, and it's kind of like Shred and other similar attacks where it goes through weakness, resistance, and any effects on the defending Pokemon. So it's okay. It is unfortunate that it doesn't hit for weakness, though, just because that means we can't one-shot Seismitoad EX unless we use the uh, regular EM Mega. Um, and then we're reliant on then ha having a tool card. But anyways, it's still nice to do 100 damage because we might have to go in something like Glaceon EX that might shut off our Yen Megas from attacking. So it gets a little bit of extra HP and uh, a different attack just to give you a little bit of extra flexibility. So uh, that's why we're only playing two of them. So uh, the other Pokemon we're going to be pairing with Yen Mega in this list is going to be a... Uh, 2-2 two, two, Zepstrika line. And Zepstrika is kind of a cool attacker. He's very low maintenance, only attacks for a DCE, but he really helps against a lot of different decks. Uh, you can take out Mega Rayquazas with this guy. Um, uh, Trevnitz, Eveltal EX. There's just a lot of stuff this guy can help you with. So it has the attack Crashing Bolt, does 50. I believe it's plus 50 more. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a uh, if they have a fighting resistance, it's plus 60 more. So you're hitting for 110. Like I said, it knocks out Trevnit, Mega Rayquaza, Eveltal, uh, Shaman, all sorts of stuff. So it's a nice backup attacker, just in case we go get something like Garboder or, uh, you know, get Hex Maniac and can't use Yen Mega's ability, we will have a nice backup attacker. Uh, and Zep Strike is just very versatile against uh, different decks that are popular right now. Um, so that's what kind of makes him good. And then we're also just around out the Pokemon playing three Shaman EX. Uh, we're opting for three. I know a lot of decks traditionally just play two, but since we don't run much energy in this deck, we have a lot of extra space. So we have room to play the third Shaman. And playing an extra Shaman also helps us 
get a turn one Yan Mega or Yan Mega break attack off. So uh, if we go second, we can use Forest of Giant Plants to evolve into Yan Mega and start attacking right away. And playing a third Shaman just helps us ensure that we hit all of the pieces that we need to. So that's it for the whole Pokemon line. It's you know pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So for our supporter line, we are going to be playing two Professor Sycamore. Uh, for obvious reasons, best draw support in the game. Discard your hand and draw seven cards. Uh, no explanation really needed. Um, you know, not a big deal. We don't really have to worry about discarding a lot of resources just because, uh, you know, we can evolve Yen Megas right away. And most of the item cards in this deck, you can actually just play down immediately. There's not too many situational cards. Um, so Sycamore is great. Uh, we're also playing 2N. So you shuffle in, each player draws equal to the amount of prizes they have. This could be good in the early games for draw power. Uh, it can be a form of disruption in the late game. And also can help you hit the hand size needed to use Yen Mega's attacks for free. So N's definitely good. And our last form of draw power is going to be two copies of Judge. So Judge has a very obvious synergy with Yen Mega because it makes each player shuffle their hand into their deck and draw four cards. So you need four cards to use Ian Mega's attack. Judge helps you get four cards. So it's just a natural fit. And especially if you can get a Yen Mega out on the first turn and Judge, uh, that can be really powerful. So uh, I definitely like this card. I really like this supporter count so far. Uh, next up we have two Lysander. So pretty obvious reasons. We get to pick what we want to attack. Most of the time, Yen Mega is going to have to two-shot things. So a lot of times we will have to Lysander something up for the final knockout. So, and we, the deck is very good at taking easy, cheap Shaman prizes as well. So Striker can knock out Shamans for a single attachment. Yen Mega can knock out Shamans. So really good at, at getting easy, cheap prizes. Then just to round out the support line, we're going to play one Zerosic. So Zerosic is good for a number of reasons. The main deck that is going to make yeah, mega struggle against. It's going to be Garboder based decks, which have been seeing a rise in popularity. So we need Zerosic to get rid of the tool card on Garboder that shuts off our abilities. Uh, it's also good against a number of things, Night March to discard DCEs, or really any deck that's based around DCE, uh, Double Dragon Energies, you know, uh, getting rid of tool cards that we might not want. We play Headringer in this list, so we can also Zerosic off other tools that we don't want on our opponent's Pokemon and replace them with Headringers if need be. So transitioning into the item cards, we are playing four versus Seeker, just to reuse all of our supporters uh, the most amount of times possible. Uh, playing four Trainer's Mail. So look at the top four cards of your deck, choose a Trainer card there and put it in your hand, shuffle your deck. Obvious reason, it's just a nice consistency booster. We have all this extra space in the deck since there's not really much energy, so may as well max this stuff out. Uh, for Ultra Ball, you know, we can grab any Pokemon in the deck, Shaman, Zebstrika, Yanmega, etc. And also for Level Ball, really nice because we can get down our Yamas right away and start evolving, hopefully. Um, again, we have a lot of free space in this deck, so uh, you can choose to max out level ball. Uh, I'm currently contemplating cutting one for an Evo Soda. I kind of want to try that out and see how that works, but right now I just opted for four level ball for max consistency. So two Headringer. So for Yamega's attack, they do have to have a tool card attached to them. Uh, and Headringer is a card, it's a kind of unique tool card in the sense that um, you attach it to your opponent's Pokemon uh, only their EXs though, and it makes their attacks cost one more. So it's a nice disruption card, uh, it'll slow down your opponent, and it'll prevent them from putting things like Spirit Links, and things that they really want down on the board instead. So great card, I feel like, for this type of deck. Uh, two Muscle Band, so just in case our opponent doesn't have a tool, a tool card attached to them, uh, especially for Shaman Knockouts, this is a very important card, I feel like. If you have this attached to your Yen Mega Break, you can use its attack barrier break to do 120 to Shaman's knocking them out. And also, like we said, just Pokemon that don't have tools attached to them. 
I think it just helps with the numbers in a lot of situations. So two float stone, you know, just in case we don't start with a uh, yen mega break, or I'm sorry, with a yanma, uh, we can attach this to maybe like one of our blitzels or shamans just to give us free retreat for the rest of the game. Uh, one escape rope, again, just another card to help us retreat. And uh, yen mega is very nice because it actually has a free retreat cost. I, I didn't really talk about that too much, but you can use this as a nice kind of pseudo Lysander type of card because you can you know, play down escape rope, make your opponent switch into something you would rather attack into, and you can always just send up a Yen Mega after you play this escape rope to uh, free retreat out of. So, because it, it forces each player to switch their active with one of their bench Pokemon. So next up we have uh, Startling Megaphone. So this might seem like an odd inclusion because you want tool cards on your opponent's Pokemon but again, we are very, um, we're gonna have a very tough time against Garboder deck. So if our Zerosic is prized, uh, we can use Startling Megaphone to remove the tool cards that are on our opponent's Garboders uh, and allow us to, our Yen Megas to keep attacking. But it's also nice too, because if you have a Head Ringer in hand and your opponent has down maybe like a Fighting Fury Belt, you can Startling Megaphone to discard all of their tool cards in play and put down the Head Ringer instead. So uh, I still like this card in this list. And for our recovery cards, we're gonna play one Sacred Ash, shuffle five Pokemon from your discard back into your deck. Uh, we're not gonna play Super Rod just because we don't play any basic energy. So Sacred Ash is definitely the superior card uh, in this type of deck. And we're also playing one of the new special charge cards. So it, it's a new item card. It lets you shuffle two special energies from your discard back into your deck. So for example, if we're playing against Mega Rayquaza and we want to go a, a, maybe a little bit more aggro uh, with Zeb Strika, you know, if we have to discard some, some DCEs, maybe with a Sycamore or something, this will allow us to get them back and keep attacking with our Zeb Strikas if we have to. Okay, then to round out the trainer cards, we're just playing uh, four Forest of Giant Plants so the awesome grass type stadium card lets all of your grass Pokemon evolve immediately. So you don't have to wait a turn to evolve. Uh, so if you go second on your first turn of the game, you can actually get out a Yen Mega or Yen Mega Break and start attacking right away. So I really like this for that. Like I said, it just helps us start attacking very quickly. And then just to round out the list, we have four double colorless energy. Uh, it's nice because we can attach to Zip Striker and power that guy up. If we have to attack with Yan Mega, um, you know, maybe if we get hexed or they have a Garboder and we can't remove the tool, we will have the option to attack with Yan Mega. And we can also Sky Return. Especially against Trevenant decks, you can, I guess, if things aren't working, you can just forego your normal strategy and just keep Sky Returning since Bursting Balloons won't knock out your Shamans. And Trevenant can't knock out your Shamans in one hit. So, but yeah, guys, that is the list. It's a very straightforward deck, but it's very consistent, too, just because you have all this extra free space. Uh, you can max out cards that normally you would have to play in lower quantities and play cards that are a little bit more of a luxury, like Headringer and a lot of decks. So, yeah, I, I definitely really like this, this archetype for the, the Worlds format. I'm not sold on it for post-rotation, just because there is no way to remove tool cards from Garboder. Um, assuming Garboder becomes a strong force in the metagame post-rotation. Uh, if Garboder doesn't see play, however, or sees very little play, I definitely think this will be a, an option worth considering, especially with the hype that Mega Rayquaza is getting going into the, the post-Worlds format. But yeah, guys, that is the list. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, as usual, if there's anything you would change about this list, or you know things we may have forgot to talk about, uh, definitely let us know in the comments below. I definitely want to hear your thoughts. And as usual, feel free to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our merch at rarecandytcg.com. We're actually doing a sale right now until the end of August, I believe. So definitely go on there, check it out, see if there's anything you want to pick up. And as usual, I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you for the next one, okay?